What's going on, y'all? That boy Gam back in the building, tapping in with y'all one more time. Today, I wanted to talk to y'all about something. Never judge people based off appearance. Only judge them by their actions and their character. You can get scammed by a guy wearing a suit just as fast as you can get scammed by a guy wearing a hoodie. So don't get caught up in the appearance of people. Yeah, appearance does matter because a person who takes care of their appearance, you know, is more likely that they might take care of other things in their life, but it's not always the case. For example, I remember when I first moved to Miami from Cleveland, Ohio, my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio, I sold my car that I had in Cleveland. So I came to Miami with the cash and my plan was to buy another car when I got to Miami because my car, it had some problems. I didn't want to drive it all the way out there. I just like, all right, I'm gonna just buy a new one. Don't have to drive it all the way. I'll just get it when I get there. So I go meet with a guy who advertised a car online I go out to see the car. Now this guy, he was dressed up, you know, professional. Talk professional, you know, smile, everything, telling me, oh yeah, nice to meet you, good manners, everything, right? Test drove the car, car seemed fine when I was test driving it. Bought the car. Now I'm driving home with the car about 15 minutes into my drive on the highway, every time I go past 60 miles per hour, the car kind of starts dying out on me. Don't want to go over 60. And they say, you know, the car eventually shuts off on me. Now, every time I start it up, I drive for a couple minutes, it shut off on me again. So long story short, the car had a bad transmission problem and a lot of other problems. Now, this guy sat right in my face. I asked him, does it have any problems? He said, no, no problems, no problem. The car is great. It runs perfect. Get down, down the street and get stranded on the side of the road. End up having to scrap the car and only not even getting half of my money back for it. You know what I'm saying? Dude met me at a... um uh storage unit or something didn't know what is who he was i made some mistakes too but i was it was just all new to me i never got scammed buying a car in cleveland where i came from i bought plenty of cars cash this was the first time i actually felt like i got scammed because he told me to my face that there was nothing wrong with the car you know so on the other hand I in Miami again, somebody hit my car, basically damaged my door, pretty much almost took the whole door off. I had to get the door repaired. So I go, I go to a, a part of the part of town that wasn't so nice. You know, I go meet with a body guy that I heard about through a friend. I go meet with him. Now, this dude, the area was completely sketchy you know his the office he had it didn't look the best it was kind of like you walking in there you thinking like oh man thinking like man i'm about to trust him with my car a new new car that i still paying a car note on i had just got the car and uh the guy tells me oh no no, no i do this all the time you can I had a, a, I had like an interesting color on that car where I was worried that he was gonna have a problem blending it and all of that. You know, he come out, you know, not dressed so nice, you know, dressed like a mechanic or whatever. Didn't speak very good English, spoke Spanish. But he told me, look, don't worry, I'ma take care of it. I said, I'm not gonna take the job unless I knew I could do it and I'm telling you I could do it. So I trusted him, okay, let's go ahead and try it. Came back to get the car, car was perfect. Beautiful, beautiful job, perfect. 
I try to offer to give the dude a tip and everything. He like, oh no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do, yeah, 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 go ahead and, and look, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. It was so helpful to me. Did a perfect job, so helpful. But a lot of people would have looked at his setup and his appearance and been like, I, I don't know, you know? But the, the appearance did not matter in those circumstances. The guy was honest, did honest work, did great work. Now this guy that looked professional, he lied to my face just to get my money. And he was probably did it to who knows how many people, you know? So just because somebody looks like they're trustworthy or presentable or whatever, don't go off of that, man. If you can pay attention to a person's actions, and see how they behave, see how they treat people, you know, track track record of what they've done, um, you know, whatever you can use to find out the character of the person, that's what you go by. Because nowadays, people are so quick to judge you. You walk in and look in a certain way, everybody have um, stereotypes that they already put on all kind of people, whether it's because of your race or because of your age or because of whatever it may be. You know, some of the nicest people that I've met have been people who maybe they didn't look like I look or they didn't look like I was used to or whatever. But does that really matter at the end of the day? Or does the character of the person matter? So that's all I'm going to give y'all today. I ain't going to keep y'all too long. Y'all check out my other videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Till next time, y'all. Gam, tapping out.